Hi, my name is Ashley Jane Chow, and I'm going to take you on a tour of Everistus Hall. This building houses many classrooms, laboratories, and of course, student services, such as the registrar's office and the admissions office. So let's go! On this floor, you'll find the registrar's and admissions offices and financial services, where you can get information on courses, exam schedules, scholarship, and convocation. Oh, the drop dates. Yes, the drop dates are very important to know. Just down the hall, you'll see student services. There are many great opportunities and workshops offered, such as how to write a university paper, and so much more. Student services include career planning, disability and counseling services, financial aid, and student housing. You're going to get lots of support here, and the best part, it's all free. Everistus Hall is also known as the Sciences Headquarters. So, if your area of study is in the sciences, chances are the majority of your classes will be right here in this building. This building houses our science labs, which is filled with the latest in science technology. Many of our science students find that the greatest benefit to being a Mount student is the opportunity to play a big part in cutting-edge research, an opportunity you wouldn't get at other schools until you reach the graduate level. We're also thrilled to offer a multi-purpose student space in this building. This area includes three floors of student space, including a graduate student study area, a learning commons, a student space for student society meetings, and of course, a multi-faith contemplation and reflection room. We also facility opportunities for Mount students to study abroad. We're a small school, but we work hard to be part of something big. Our office facilitates opportunities for you to study in different countries around the world, such as South Korea, Russia, Denmark, Sweden, and so much more. Everistus also has a tunnel leading to the Rosaria Student Center, very helpful in the cold months. There are lockers located throughout the tunnel, as well as in the Seton Academic Building. You'll find bulletin boards which are always packed full of information about events and sales of books and housing items. 